ever since we've known each other, it's just been us three. Just like our friendship, one thing remains certain. What's that? That you're a daydreaming idiot. <laughs> oh well, I'm happy being an idiot then. Hey, Seji. Yeah? I'm just wondering, have you ever, you know... Have I ever what? Have you ever had a crush on someone? A crush? The closest thing to a crush I've had is my obsession with the universe. I can't really think of anyone I've had a crush on before. Girls aren't something on my mind, I guess. I know everyone in our class raves about relationships and that, but does it really matter now? I mean, there's years and years left in our lives. Why does everyone insist that you have to jump into a relationship right now? Isn't high school enough trouble without having to worry about girls, too? Really? Not anyone, Seji? Come on, you can tell us if you've ever had any feelings for anyone before. Honestly, Momoko, I can't think of anyone at all. <laughs> I guess I just never thought about girls before. I see. Though she keeps smiling, my blood nearly freezes from the tone of her voice. <laughs> Have I done something to upset her again? <laughs> Why does this keep happening? Well, let's just say that hypothetically speaking, you are interested in girls. Huh? Why are we talking about this? Momoko and I are just curious, Seji. What kind of girls do you prefer? Why are they asking me this right now? Didn't I just tell them that I haven't thought about girls before? Judging by the expectant glint in their eyes, there's no way I'm going to get away without telling them. Well, um, uh... I don't really know. Like I said, I've never thought about it before. I guess someone nice, maybe decent at cooking. Honestly, I don't really think it's a good idea to have a checklist of traits. I'll know what I'm looking for when I meet the right person. You'll know when you meet her, will you? Are you sure you haven't met her yet, Seji? I mean, surely you've made quite a few friends throughout the years. Now that she mentions that, I just realized that I don't really know that many people. Lately. There's somewhere that I want to show you to. Oh, what kind of place? Momoko seems excited at the idea. How do we know this is not a trap? It's obvious that this pervert intends to do something. For the sake of my pride, I will not be led astray by the likes of you. Alright then, I guess only Momoko wants to come. I, I didn't say that. I didn't say I didn't want to come. I just said that I wouldn't be misled by you. I'm sure that's not the case, Ayumi. Maybe you're jealous that we would get to spend time together all alone. Goodness, imagine if all the things that could... <laughs> would you like to get back in the water after this? We still have a few hours before the sun sets. We should get the most out of this day as we can. Momoko saves the day again. What do you say, Ayumi? Sounds fine. Ayumi is brooding now. Oh well, it's normal. I've known her for this long. How could I not be used to it? Dot dot dot, time passing, dot dot dot, dot dot dot. <laughs> More time passing. Back on the beach, Momoko hasn't given up on hoarding me about crushes. So do you think you'll ever be interested in girls, Seji? Why do you keep asking about this? Why does my opinion about girls matter at all? Just curious, you know? We've known you for so long, and there's still some things we can't work out about you. So you're just curious? That's why you want to know? Yes, just curious. Anyway, it's getting late. There's somewhere that I want to show you to. What? Oh, what kind of place? Momoko seems excited at the idea. How do we know this is not a trap? It's obvious that this pervert intends to do something. For the sake of my pride, I will not be led astray by the likes of you. Alright then, I guess only Momoko wants to come. I, I didn't say that. I didn't say I didn't want to come. I just said that I wouldn't be misled by you. I'm sure that's not the case, Ayumi. Maybe you're jealous that we would get to spend time together all alone. Goodness, imagine if all the things that could... <laughs> Ayumi slaps one palm into Mom Momoko's cheeks. Damn, she slapped her. D don't throw such false accusations at me like that. Ow, 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 ow. A sniffle escapes from Momoko. 
Said she it hurts. Could you kiss it better? <laughs> she turns her cheek towards me. C kiss it better? But that means... The thought seems to be incomprehensible to her. Um, I... Another sniffle escapes from her. Please, Seji! I'll make... It'll make it feel a lot better. <laughs> Looking at me with her dewy eyes. A very strong feeling of guilt washes over me. D don't fall for her crocodile tears, you fool. She's trying to trick you. Ayumi grabs her by the face and stretches it one way and another. Ow, ow, ow! Ayumi, you're making it worse. This is your punishment for lying to him. Accept it, villain. Now he's going to have to kiss my whole face better. <laughs> That's the only thing that will make me feel better now. Despite Ayumi's best efforts, Momoko manages to look at me with those dewy eyes again. Seji, please help me. Kiss it all better. You, you are evil. Absolutely evil. Ayumi quickly stops and pouts to herself. So, are you two going or not? Momoko immediately recovers. I absolutely am. I can't wait. So they were crocodile tears. I guess I can come. Don't expect me to bestow such generosity on you in the future. Ensure that she's okay, or don't fall for the crocodile tears. Well, we know they're fake. Um, this makes me feel like I'm choosing between the two, though. Because if you ensure that she's okay, it'll piss her off. If I don't fall for it, it'll piss her off. Um, let's don't fall for it. Crocodile tears don't work, Momoko. It's always worth a try. I never thought you'd say something mature, Seji. Either way, it's time to head off. All of my usual haunts around this place are still here. This little isolated cliff by the seaside, it always gave the best view of the sunset. It's one of my special places. I've always wanted to share it with someone, too. As I lead those two through the undergrowth, Ayumi complains the entire time. Where are we even going, you fool? There's too many bugs here. You could have at least told me to get changed. Come on, this is fun. Isn't this like when we explored the forest around the house when we were little? Just because it was fun years ago doesn't mean it's fun now. Come on, Ayumi. Let loose a little bit. It's okay to be a bit immature now and then. For you, maybe. I'm a proud, dignified woman. And I won't be changed I won't change that for anything. Oh, that's not what you were telling me earlier. All that lovely talk about Stop! No! Don't say it! I forbid you to talk about that. You've gotta talk about it one day, you know. And how about we talk about it when you were no need for that. Anyway, are we close, Seji? Almost there. We emerge at the cliffside just at the right moment. The sun looms deep in the horizon, painting the sky a fiery orange. Its form shimmers across the sea's surface, the dying light creating a spectacular show of color. So, why are we here? Just look out there and see for yourself. She seems to go wide-eyed at the view. It's a sight that always never ceased to amaze me when I was young. Both Ayumi and Momoko seem to go silent as they take in the view. This is a beautiful view, Seji. I'm glad that you like it. This is just one of the places that I'd like to show you while we're here. I used to sit here and watch the stars slowly appear in the sky. Whenever I was here, I just forgot about my troubles for a while. So I wanted to share it with you both. Neither of them say anything in response. They seem to get lost in the moment, too. Even Ayumi doesn't have anything to say. We just sit there, enjoying the view. It really is beautiful here, Seji. A fool you may be, but you do know some beautiful places. A younger me used to go exploring all the time. That's how I found this place. Maybe there's more places like this out here. We should go looking another day, just like we used to when we were younger. Remember when we found that waterfall? 
She seems to grow nostalgic as she looks out at the shifting ocean before her. I haven't forgotten about any of it. It's funny how long we've all been together, hasn't it? It's not something I really think about, but you're right. You just notice as the years pass by. Now, here we are. Even Ayumi begins to smile. There's just some kind of magic in this moment. As silly as you are, we've all never stopped having fun together. I hope that we can do this forever. Forever, huh? That sounded pretty nice to me. As we wait, the stars begin to emerge from their hiding places. The orange of the sky gives way to a dark shade of blue. The moon looms in the distance, slowly rising above the ocean. As Momoko looks up at the stars, something seems to occur to her. There's something that we'd like to know, Seji. Why do you like space so much? You haven't ever really talked about it. I don't really know why I'm so obsessed with space. Something about the kind of idea of being a part of something far bigger than myself. It's hard to put into words. For all the petty problems on Earth, there's an entire universe out there which couldn't care less. It doesn't care about pollution or war or famine. Even when the last of us are gone, it'll still be there. Eternal, unchanging indifference. It really puts things into perspective for me. Not that I'm saying I don't matter. Everything I do today could have far-reaching consequences tomorrow. I might be the person who causes a chain of events which could probably lead to the salvation of humanity, or something like that. The future cannot be predicted, but I just think that everyone has their part to play in the grand me mechanisms of the universe. Each of our actions will cause something to happen, no matter how grand or petty the result may be. It's easy to get cynical about what consequences your choices have when pondering the universe. I may be a mere grain of sand in comparison to the universe, perhaps even less than an atom, but that does not mean that what I do has no meaning. Everything we do has a meaning. Even the tiniest decision we make in this life can have far-reaching consequences. I imagine that Einstein's ancestors had no idea that their decisions would lead to the discovery of relativity. Oops, I'm drifting again. I'd better answer their question quickly. I guess I just see space as a big adventure filled with mysteries and all kinds of things. There's a planet made out of diamond out there. Imagine what other kinds of treasures you could find. Such as? If there's a planet made out of diamond, maybe there's one made out of gold out there. You see, that's why I love space. There could literally be anything out there in the void. You don't have to look outside Earth to find treasure, you know. It sounds like a childish fantasy. Like you want to run out there pointing a laser gun at aliens. That sounds like fun. I'd love to do that. Fool. That's a bit harsh, Ayumi. That sounds like heaps of fun. I want to team up and have adventures across the galaxy, Seji. Sounds great to me. Huh, fine. Go have your space adventures or whatever. I prefer sophisticated entertainment for adults. But what about that one show you always watch in the morning where... Ayumi quickly shoots her arm out and covers Momoko's mouth. Don't you dare say it! Aw, always trying to be so mature, Ayumi. You're almost as adorable as Seji. Almost. D don't call me adorable. All I can do is shrug at the non nonsense happening in front of me. It's getting late, you two. We should probably head back now. Sure, can we come back here sometime? I want to watch the sunset with you again. W well... I wouldn't mind going here again with you. Glad to hear it. We make our way back through the trail. Those two bicker the entire way. I wake up late today. Have to say that it's been forever since I've gotten a good night's sleep. I've had to study real hard for the upcoming exams. Though I haven't told anyone yet, what I want to do is become an astrophysicist. Since I love space so much, why not dedicate myself to understanding it? Although the study material is pretty brutal. I'm glad to